Good afternoon, folks. And today is going to be part two of the March Madness high school style. So, with that being said, we're going to do the girls' basketball. Starting in the 75 through 76, mostly the upsets. They're all going to be the upset versions. All right. Now, to make sure I have them all in order, I think I do. Yeah, I think, yep, I got them all in order. Year by year. <laughs> At least the years where they were all mainly upsets. So, with all, without ado, let's get down to business here. Well, 75 through 70 to 76 season, Bishop Hartley versus Bellbrook in Class AA Championship. Bishop Hartley pretty much will play Bellbrook all the way to the brink. And they, Bishop Hartley coming in at 14 and 6, took on a very talented 20 and 2 Bellbrook. Bishop Hartley took an early 12 11 lead. Then they outscored him 13-11. Taking a 25-22 halftime lead. But then Bellbrook, who was so talented, came back, tied it up at 36, 14-11. Then the fourth quarter, Hartley did the unthinkable and outscored him 9-8, giving them the victory 45-44. Improving the record to 15 and 6. Well, Bellbrook finished the season at 20 and 3. What a heartbreak. Great game. Now we jump to 7, 1976 to 77. With Mansfield St. Peter's taking on Middlefield Cardinal. 38 35, what a victory there. Taking on undefeated Mans Middlefield Cardinal. Big time victory. And then they took on Lutheran West. Big time victory. Again, 40 38. Unfortunately, they ended up at, as a state runner up. But they finished the season at 16 and 6. Good run there for Mansfield St. Peter's. Then the 84 85. Class AA, Final Four. New Lexington taking on Coldwater. Hmm. Good games here. New Lexington at 20, 2, and 3. Taking on a 25-0 and 0 Coldwater team. Very good Coldwater team. Literally destroying everybody in this season. Coldwater. Getting out scored 16 to 4 in the first. Then 12, 17 to 12 in the second. Giving New Lexington a huge lead going into halftime. 33. 12, 13, 33 to 16 going in at halftime. Then the, then it comes back. Then we got the third quarter. Cold Wonder seemed to have a little bit of energy. Outscore New Lex 14 to 12. Outscoring a take, but they still had a decent lead, 45. But then you had But then Coldwater had a little bit of enthusiasm going in, but they it was 45. To let's see here, 26 45 28 going in at the end of the third quarter. I intend to prove beyond all possible doubts. And then the unthinkable occurred. 13. And then 17 to 15. Gave them the good win. 52 and 17. 52. 
It was a good win. 62-43 final score. But then the election finishes as state runner-up at 23-4. and four. Cold War just didn't have it in him. Then Akron Butchell take on Cincinnati Princeton and Class AAA in the Final Four. Princeton was really good. Princeton who trailed 22-14 to 14 after one. Came back and led 34 to 33. Then they led 54 to 43 after one. After the third quarter. Then after that, it all went one way. Princeton led, ended up winning that. Hanning Butchel, who was 26-0, And then that was it. Princeton was good. Princeton just pretty much walked away and finished 24 and 3. And then in 1987 88, Cincinnati, I mean, Meadowbrook took on, who was 23 and 3, took on Akron Hoban, who was. 21 and 5 at the time. It was actually 21 and 6, excuse me. What an upset. In overtime. 12 and 6. 12 to 6 was the score for Meadowbrook at the end of the one. Then it was 22 16. Then it reversed. And it was tied at the end of the third. And it kept on tied. At 42, at the end of the third, at halftime, big time. At the end of regulation, it was tied at 42. Then, the surprising thing, Akron Hoban scored the final four points, and Meadowbrook didn't score a single point in overtime. Final score, 46-42, in favor of Akron Hoban. The 90-91 season in the Bell Fountain Regional Championship. Selena versus Pickerington. Pickerington was undefeated at 17-0. Took on the future champion and ended up falling 48-46. And Selena finished at 24-4 while Pickerington finished at 17-1. Then in 93-94, Garfield Heights took on Pickerington. Again, Pickerington unbeaten. This is in Division One. And once again, Pickerington fe- fell 59-54. And Pickerington pretty much all fell apart. Trailed pretty much all game long. And then, the 95-96... Season, Pickerington pretty much well had it made. It wasn't that game season. It was that to be. And Division Three Championship 95-96 season was about the only game that was an upset. Two of them at least. Upper Sandusky gets upset by Cincinnati, Wyoming. Their only ups, the only loss of the whole season. 35-29 in overtime. Big time upset. 8-7, 11-7. Good game. Then 3-2 in one quarter. Neither team really could hit anything, surprisingly. And then the fourth quarter, 8-2 in overtime. 35-29. Weird how that thing works. Never seen that coming. And then in 96-97 in Division I Final Four, Wadsworth, unbelievable, trailed 13-8 to after one. And then 25-15, down by 10, then down by 11. 40 to, that's just unbelievable. 
40 to 29. Next, let me see that. 25. 35. Yeah, 40. Now, 15. Yeah, 40, 29. But then 19 to 7, outscored in one. Disappointment. It went in favor of of Wadsworth, and they upset Pickerington. 48-47. And Wadsworth ended up being the champion. And then we go to the 96th in Division 2. A 58-56 favor of Vincent Warren. Vincent Warren ended up as the state runner-up that year, unfortunately. After upsetting West Branch... As they were twenty five and one, made them twenty five and two. Vincent Warren ended up at twenty two and five that year. Vincent Warren trailed eleven four, but then they came storming back twenty to thirteen in the second, sixteen eleven, twenty three and sixteen. Seemed pretty decent, good season for them. Now we go on to our next game. Ninety seven ninety eight season. Dover, who was a pretty big underdog, down 16-11 after one quarter, came back, made it a very simple game, made it interesting. Down third, then they outscored Wesson 13 to 12. Unbelievable game, 13 to 12. It kind of makes you wonder. How did they pull it off? And then... That would make it... It was 28-24 at that point. And then the next two quarters were the same thing. 9-6 each time. And the final score would be 42-40. to So... And that would be it. And that would be all she had to write. It'd be 36 to 35 after the third quarter. But then Dover would just pull off the upset in the fourth. Unbelievable in the final four. Then... Hamilton Baden pulling seminar, same division. Pulling seminar would get beat 45 35. Pulling seminar was just pretty much well dominated from the start to finish. Except the second quarter, they would trail by one point going in at halftime, but then they would be dominated from there on out. 13 to 9, 9 to 6. Pretty much well pulls out a 45 35 win for Hamilton Baden. Hamilton Baden would finish as state champs, and Dover would finish the season at twenty and seven. Hamilton Baden finished the season at twenty five and three. In ninety eight, Pickerington finally picked up another win. He finished the season at twenty seven and one, while Mason finished the season at twenty six and one. The forty six to thirty win record. And it just seemed to be that different. In Division 3, 98-99 season. And that was the 98-99 season for the Pickerington over Mason. And we're still in that one. Division 3, we have a pretty good game here. Cleveland Villas, Angela St. Joseph, finished the season at 25-3. And this is the championship over Miami East, who got unbeaten falls. 67 52. It was pretty much well dominated by Villa. 26-14. Tied there and just kept it going. 2.15-13 and 14-13. Score adds up 67-52. And then 99-2000 Division 4. And the final four. Marion Stein finished as a state runner-up at Marion Local. Excuse me, but... Maria Stein, Marion Local, but you just call Marion Local. Finished as runner up at 17 9. As they upset Delphus St. John's 
25, it was 25 and 0. It was kind of back and forth. 14 5. Marion Local started off, then Delphi St. John tied it up, going in halftime at 19 apiece. And then 15 13, Marion Local took a lead, but it would never relinquish that lead as they only won by a point, 43 42. Interesting how that worked. Then the 2000-2001 season. The district semifinal, Mansfield took on number 15, Finley, and won 56-51. In the sex, this is Division One 2000-2001 season. In the sectional championship, Cincinnati St. Ursula beat number 13, Lakota West, 45-36. The regional semifinal, Youngstown Boardman upset number thir- number twelve, Warren Holland, forty eight thirty five. And the regional semifinal, Toledo Central Catholic upset number ten Magnificent, Magnificent, forty nine forty eight only by a point. Good game on that one. Then the district final, Youngstown Boardman. Upset Canton McKinley, 52-41. Then the regional semifinal, Cleveland East Tech, number six, Cleveland East Tech. Upset number four, Hudson, 66-56. Good game there. And then in the regional semifinal, Pickerington, upset number two, Brookhaven, 47 45. And then the regional final, Dayton Chamnandia defeated Chamnandia Julianne defeated Pickerington, number three Pickerington, 40 35. In Division Two, plenty of upsets there. In the district championship, Riverview beats number 15 Claire, St. Clairsville. 59-43. The district semifinal. Miles McKinley upsets Pullen, Pullen Seminary. 44-38. In the regional semifinal. Cincinnati McNicholas upsets Trotwood number 12 Trotwood Madison. 63-59. In the sectional semifinal. Hillsborough upsets Circle number eleven, Circleville, forty-eight, forty-one. In the regional semifinal, Avon upsets. I forgot to put the number down. I think they were number ten, Cunot, forty-eight, thirty-five. The number eight in the regional final, number eight, Pemberville Eastwood upsets number seven, Central Canton Central Catholic, fifty-nine, fifty. And then. Pember, then the district semifinal, Orville upsets number six, Akron Hoban, 46 41. District semifinal, Kettering Alder upsets number five, Springboro. Good game there. By a final score of, uh, excuse me, I got something in there, 55 48. Then number 12, Trotwood Madison. In the district championship upsets Kenton Ridgewood, number four Kenton Ridgewood, 96-72. Then district championship, number eight Pemberville Eastwood upsets number three Clyde, 74-73. In the regional championship, Bishop number 10 Bishop Hartley upsets number two West Holmes, 50-47. Then regional semifinal, Pemberville Eastwood upsets number one Willard, 51 to 40. But in the final four, we got some interesting games here. Canfield upsets, unranked Canfield upsets number eight, Pemberville Eastwood, 54 to 40. And then Cincinnati McNicholas upsets Bishop Hartley, 50, 48 to 44. Good game that one was. Now on to other games. In Division Three, 
Sectional championship, general area. Upsets number 13, Evergreen. 67-66. And district championship, Cyrus Winford gets past Castellina Margareta. 69-67. Excuse me. Then the district semifinal, Fairfield Union gets past Albany Alec, number 12, Albany Alexander. 55-45. And then the district championship, Fairfield Union keeps it going, getting past number 11, Oakwood, 48-39. Then the district championship, Akron Hoven, Man Akron Manchester, excuse me, gets past Doylston, 68-55. Then the sec district semifinals, Bucyrus Winford gets past number 8, Kansas, Lakota, 78-65. Then the district semi. Final, Granville gets past number 6, New Albany, 48-42. Then the regional semifinal, Cincinnati, Wyoming gets past number 4, Sparta Highland, 52-36. The regional semifinal, Eastern, number 10, Eastern Brown gets past Fort Fry, number 2, Fort Fry, 66-54. And then Cincinnati, Wyoming walks all over number one for sales in the regional championship, 54 to 28. Ouch. In Division Four, District Semifinal, you have you have very good games here. District Semifinal, Lynchburg Clay beats South number 13 South Webster, 54-43. The district championship, Toledo Ottawa Hills, 50, number 10, Gibsonburg, 41. Sectional final, Houston, 54, Triad, 51. In the regional semifinal, Crooksville, 78, Bel Air, St. John, 56. In the regional championship, Holgate, 55, number 6, Ottoville, 50. In the district final, number 14, South Charleston, Southeastern, 44. Number 3, New Madison Tri Village, 37. And the district championship, New Orwalk, St. Paul, 59. New London, number 2, New London, 39. And the district championship, Fort Fry, 55. Number 1, Marion Local, 52. Then we go to 2002. 2001-2002, and Division One Magnif District Championship, Magnificent, who finished the season at 18-8, and eight, upset number 13, Elira, 66-35. Then the regional semifinal, Cincinnati Mother of Mercy, upset number 12, Fairfield, 63-56. Then the district final... Cincinnati Mother of Mercy, who finished at 15 and 11, defeated number 11, Xenia, 51-43. The sectional final, Anthony Wayne, 67, number 10, Toledo Central Catholic, 63, in overtime. The district championship, Hudson, who finished at 22 and 4, beats number 9, Wadsworth, 56 to 35. The district semifinal. Reynoldsburg upsets number 7, Mount Vernon, 55-52. In the regional semifinal, Magnificent, 50, 67. Number 5, Mansfield, 46. In the regional semifinal, Cincinnati St. Ursula, 21-6 and six is what they finished at. 51. Well, number th upsets number 3, Beaver Creek, 45, who finished the season at 21-4. Then the regional final, semifinal, Lancaster beats Brookhaven, who finished the season at 21 and 3, 59 55, my alma mater. And then congratulations to the girls in the regional final, who upset the top seed Pickering 10, number 1, who finished the season at 22 and 3, while Lancaster finished the season in the final four. As they lost to North Canton Hoover at 20, 
two and twenty three and three as they beat Pickerington fifty four to fifty one. And division, more division, and division two, we have some other interesting games. Cincinnati McNicholas upsets Kenton Ridge in the district final, 80 75, as they finish the season at 20 and 6. In the sectional final, Hubbard beats Ravenna, Ridge Southeast, at number 13. 59 to 42. District semifinal, Orville upsets number 10, Akron Hoven. 51 46. District semifinal, Carrying Alder upsets number number 9, Carrying Alder upsets Springboro. 57 36. Regional semifinal, Mifflin upsets number 7, West Holmes at 23 and 2. 65 49. The Mifflin upsets Greenfield McLean at 25 and 1. 57-45. Then Fairfield Union upsets Galley Academy 63-59 at number, number 5. Then Lima Bath upsets Pemberville Eastwood in overtime 67-62 in overtime. And then in the regional final, Lima Bath also upsets Willard at number 3. 51-48. In the district final, Cincinnati Personal Minera upsets number one, Dayton Chimani, Cheminade, 52-51. The Mifflin upsets Kettering Alter, 58-50. Good game that one was. In Division three, sectional final, Cincinnati Lima upsets Brookville, number 14, 52-34. Then Columbia Crestview upsets number 14, Lima South Range, 46-37. In the district final, Youngstown Ursuline upsets East Canton, 59-54. And Louisville Aquarius upsets number 12, Gerard, 59-49. In the regional final, Archbold upsets Bucyrus Winford, 70-38. In the regional semifinal, Versailles upsets... Number 5, New Albany, 49-31. The district championship, Versailles upsets Waynesville, 43-36. And Euclid, Regina, upsets number 1. Number 4, Euclid, Regina, upsets number 1, Villa Angela St. Joe's, 72-41. Then Archbold upsets number seven Cincinnati Madeira, fifty five forty seven. Then it's Regina, U South Euclid Regina upsets Eastern Brown, fifty four forty five. Good game those were. <laughs> and Division four, Murray Sound White Oak upsets South Murray Sound Southeast Southern, seventy two forty five. Dayton Jefferson upsets. North Madison Tri Village, 65 51. In the district championship, Crooksville upsets South Webster, 43 42, and they were number 10. In the sectional championship, St. Henry upsets Minster, 38 36, who's number 8. Then number 12, Shadyside, in the district semifinal, upsets Berlin Highland, 50 42. In the regional final, Delphi St. John's. Upsets Homer Patrick Henry, 59-39. to 39. District semifinal, Centerberg upsets Columbus Academy, 75-69. Then the district semifinal, district final, excuse me, South Charleston Southeastern upsets Jackson um, Center, number 2, 39-38. A good game that one was. Number 12, Shady Side upsets Worthington Christian, 59-57, top seed. Then Delphi St. John's upsets Mansfield St. Peter's, 54-36. And that was in the final four. Then in the final... Excuse me as I'm breathing here. And then the championship, Delphi St. John's upsets Shady Side, 
36. Then in the 2002 2003 Division 3, Huntington Bucyrus upsets Winford 55 to 50. Then in the Division 4, in 2002-2003, Holgate upsets Shadyside in the Final Four. 53-50. to The Marion Local upsets Mansfield-St. Peter. 52-36. Then the Championship, Marion Local upsets Holgate. 46-28. Good game that one was. Then the other 304 season, District Semifinal, Kettering Fairmont upsets number 10, Beaver Creek, 42-27. And then the District Final, North Canton Hoover upsets number 7, Youngstown Boardman, 56-54 in overtime. Then Cincinnati Mount Notre Dame upsets number 1, Dayton Cheminay, 59-44. In Division 2, Cuyahoga Falls Walsh Juice upsets number 14, Copley, 56 to 50. In Regional Final, Semifinal, Bay Village upsets Cal Fulton Northwest, 37 33. District Championship, Ulaida upsets St. Mary's Memorial, 49 44. Then the Regional Semifinal, Tri Valley upsets number 5, Dover, 52 34. In the regional final, Hamilton Baden upsets number four, Bexley, 53-42. Sectional final, Bellevue upsets Oak Harbor, 54-39. And then the district final, Hamilton Baden, 46, upsets number one, Springfield Kenton Ridge, 46-40. to Then this final four, Hamilton Baden upsets number eight, Salem, 54-40. To 50 in overtime. What a game. Well, with that being said, I'm sorry for the long one here, but I had to give you the final scores of the Girls' March Madness. We'll talk about the boys tomorrow. It might be the same length here, so I apologize in advance. You made it this far? Thank you. But I'm glad you, like, enjoyed this. With that being said, peace.